Hello, this is Shishi coming to you today with a flower tutorial. And today's flower is the hibiscus flower. It's inspired by the Heartfelt Creations hibiscus flower on the YouTube channel. I was inspired to draw out the flower because I love their flowers and right now I am on a strict budget and like some of the crafters on YouTube I watch a lot of videos and every time I just want everything I see so I decided to just draw out the flower template and I will provide a free template for you in the description box below if you would like to follow along with the tutorial and I hope it's easy to follow if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section below so here I just want to show you the card I made using the template and I'll show you the template right here I've included the top layer right here and the bottom layer right here and also the leaf I drew up now I tried to make it really easy to follow um, or to cut out. Um, it's a square right here and it's a square right here and then I have little um, arrows pointing where you can make little cuts to kind of give the um, idea of how to cut out the design that I'm going to show in the tutorial. So I hope it's easy to follow. I know it's a little frustrating, but it would have been hard to cut out these little, I don't even know what to call them, but you'll understand when we're cutting out the template. So, okay, let's get started. So I've already pre-cut my dye template. I'll take this away. I just wanted to show you what the finished product looks like. So here's my cutout, and this is what it looks like when you've already cut out the template. You'll need a pair of scissors, you'll need um, a cushion, you'll need some glue, um, something to emboss your flowers. Um, you may need some micro beads if you want to give it some definition and make it more look, real, look realistic. Um, this is what I have for my micro beads. Um, it's by American Crafts. And some scissors. This is what I'm using today. Um, when I cut out mine, I usually use cereal boxes to trace for future projects. And I just mark them. This is what I've marked small and then large. So, hope that's helpful. And then you color your flowers, whatever color you use, with whatever markers or watercolors or whatever you choose. So this is what I'm going to show you. Um, I've used a, I, I designed it so it's a rounded edge, so you can just kind of give it a a little deco edge, however you choose, and just. Just cut it out and just move the paper up and down as you wish as you follow along with the scissors and give it a different design. That's what I normally do when I'm trying to alter the little petals. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly and then give it, you know, a different petal uh, shape on each petal. It's up to you. You can leave them rounded or you can just change it on each petal. But I just move the paper up and down as I'm trimming to give it a different look. And there you go. So now, as I was explaining, this right here, the square part, what I do normally is I'm going to cut one snip right here and one snip right here to start out 
right here to give it shape for the top part of the little stem as you can see I hope you can see that like that and then to get the rest I just give it some snips and just kind of cut a little bit and just turn my paper and then give it some more snips and then just you know do as many as you like for the remainder of the stem I'm not sure what this is called but I'm just following the design of what the hibiscus looks like and then you can make them more round as you cut this out but I just wanted to show you how I came up with this to make it easier to cut out it's really hard to get those you know more rounded I'm sorry I don't know what they're called but hopefully you get the idea it would have been difficult to draw them and try to cut them out a little round I need to know what the name of it is but I'm sorry I don't but yeah okay like that and so it looks more square but then you can go back and you know just give it a little rounded edge and take more time and more care with it okay and then I've already prepped another die cut that I've already cut, cut out so here's my colors as you can see they look like this and then here's the other size More, I've given a little rounded edge. Okay, so here I'm going to just quickly give it some shape. I meant to do that beforehand, I apologize, but I'm going to just quickly go around and just kind of cut around it around all the petals just to give it a shape of a hibiscus hopefully it doesn't take up too much of the time on the video Hopefully you get the idea of what I'm doing. And then we'll give it some shape and glue the flower together. Okay, I did that one. You can use some, um, some edge scissors if you have them in your collection. I have lots of them, but sometimes it's easier just to use a regular pair of scissors if you have everything on hand. Okay, so I have everything done. I'm going to get my embossing tools, the stylus right here, and I'm going to flip them over. You could use water to kind of dampen the paper, but I don't find it necessary in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and emboss the petals. Just give it a deep press and on each petal. Some really easy. Let's see if I can zoom you in just a little bit. Okay. And okay, then the last one. And for the 
little stem right here I just take the smallest like this one right here and just kind of go curl it up sometimes it's a little fiddly and just go like this maybe it'll do it better with the bigger one I don't know let's see and that'll give it a rounded shape then flip it over and then just give it a little embossing in the middle and then this is what you get so far now to do the big petal you just flip it over and do the same thing give it a deep press when you're embossing each petal press it really hard like that and then I'm going to take this other tool and do the stem in the middle and then flip it over and then just give it some shape like so Okay, and then you have this like that so when you're putting the flower together you take this is uh, the top layer and you put the top layer onto the bottom layer and this offset it slightly so I'm going to give this just a little bit more pressure And then I'm going to get my glue. And then here we go. I'm just offset it just a little bit. Okay, so there we go, and then you can just kind of bring these up just slightly, okay, just shaping that a little bit. we go so far okay now we're going to do the leaf the leaf just emboss the leaf like that and like that and then this is what we have for the leaf and then you can just decide where you want the leaf I usually put the leaf like right here like that so I'm just gonna put some glue like right here and We'll just kind of like put the leaf right about here. Like that. So it's sticking out just slightly. 
I'm going to give it a good press on the back so that it will stay. This is what we have so far. Now, for the middle, I am going to put um, some microbeads. Um, in the video for the Heartfelt Creations um, hibiscus, they use prills. I don't have prills, so I'm going to use what I have in my stash. So I'm going to just put a whole bunch of glue in the center, like that. And then this is, um, I have other colors, but this is the color I'm using for this one. And then I'm just going to, um, Use my stylus and kind of push these down and then pour some more. <clears throat> I don't really know of any other way to do it. And it's coming together really nicely. I'm just going to look at it real closely. And I just want to put a little bit more on here. should do it. And so here is the flower. And then you can put some Wink of Stella on it to give it some shine. But here you go. And then you can push this up. And this is the finished product. I'll show you some other ones I made. I made this one. And I don't know if you can see the sparkle. Let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit. Here's the sparkle on that one. And then here's another one in this color. I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle in that one. So, you can make them in all kinds of colors. And then, here's the original one that I made on this card. So, I hope this video has been helpful for you. I do appreciate all my new subscribers and my continued support of my subscriber base. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day and take care everyone.